Hello, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? How's everything? Everything is okay. Okay, that is good. I'm happy to hear that. Okay, everybody, are you ready for today's class? Today is, uh, let me check, October 27th. Okay, and we have a class. Oops, give me a moment. Okay. I'm going to start, I'm going to share the screen with you right now, everybody. Here we go. Okay. Can everybody see the screen I'm sharing? Can you see the blue screen I am sharing with you? Yes, teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, so everybody, welcome. Once again, this is Inglés Intermedio, Modulo 3, and this is me, Ivan Doñan, at your service, and it's Intermediate 3, Session 12, October 27th, 2022. So here's what we're going to do. Okay, um, today, basically, we have this, for today, we have this, it's uh, Lesson Objective 4.7. And it's uh, by the end of this class, participants will know and practice how to use models to express permission, obligation, and prohibition. So it's basically a review. So here's what we studied yesterday. Okay, just to um, take a look at it one more time. Permission, prohibition, and obligation. Take a look. When we want to express permission, prohibition, that means not allowing something, obligation, or no obligation, we use modal verbs, okay? That's what we use, we use modal verbs. And for permission, as we studied yesterday, you can use can, may, and could, okay? It's very easy. You use may, can, and could. Can is most often used to ask for and give permission, okay? But may and could are also possible even though they are not used as often as can. You say, for example, can I borrow a pen? You can sit here. The seat is free. Could I open the window? May I ask a question? Okay, so you use can, may, and could basically to request, to ask for, or to give permission. This is a review for, for um, from yesterday's class. So uh, the second one is prohibition. Can't and mustn't, that's the short form of must not, are used to show that something is prohibited. That means not allowed, not permitted. You have three examples. You can't go into that restaurant without a tie. That means it's not permitted. You can't drive in this country unless, a menos que, unless you are over 18, okay? And the last one, you mustn't use your phone in class. As mentioned yesterday, can't usually gives the idea of something that is against the rules. We have a set of rules. And when you use can't, you are basically expressing that something is against those rules. Mustn't, on the other hand, usually means that it is the speaker who is setting the rule. It's a prohibition that comes from the speaker. Okay, from the person talking to you. That's the idea. You have two examples. You can't touch the ball when you're, with your hand when you're playing soccer. Okay, that's, that's uh, everybody knows that. You're playing soccer, you, you cannot touch the ball with your hands. Only the goalkeeper can, okay? Solo el, el arquero puede. De ahí nadie más. Okay, only the goalkeeper can touch the ball with the hand. But the rest of the team, they can't. Okay, it's against the rules. And the second example is, you mustn't speak during the exam. Now, this is a rule set by the person speaking, in this case, the teacher or the instructor or the professor in a university. You mustn't speak during the exam. That's the thing. So um, obligation, this is the other thing. Have to and must are both used to express obligation. We have to be at the airport at least two hours before the flight. I have to work on Saturday. They have to wear their uniforms at school, okay? It's an obligation. 
It's the rule. I must hand in my thesis by tomorrow, okay? I have to finish this report today. It's an obligation. I don't have an option. I must be a good citizen, okay? If I'm not a good citizen, then I go to jail, okay? So that's the idea. You use have to and must to talk about obligation. You use them to express obligation, something that is obligatory or necessary, absolutely necessary. And finally, we have don't have to and mustn't. Now you have to be careful because have to and must are very similar in meaning. They both express obligation, but the negative forms don't have to and mustn't are different, okay? They are a little bit different. We use don't have to to show that there is no obligation to do something. That's the rule. There is no obligation to do something, okay? You don't have to wear a tie to go to that restaurant, but it will be nice. That means wearing a tie is optional. If you want to wear the tie, good. If you don't want to wear the tie, that's also good. No problem, okay? It's your decision. It's up to you. The second one, students don't have to wear uniforms to school. So there is a uniform. If they want to wear it, okay. If they don't want to wear it, that's also okay. There is no obligation, okay? That's the thing. Now, we use mustn't to show that something is not permitted, okay? Something is prohibited. For example, you mustn't wear shorts to go to that restaurant. That means wearing shorts is not permitted. If you try to go into the restaurant wearing shorts, the bouncer is going to tell you, no, sorry, you can't enter because you're wearing shorts. The second one, you mustn't speak during the exam. That means speaking during the exam is prohibited. It's not permitted, okay? That's the general, say, um, review that we have. And there is an activity right here. You're going to be working on breakout rooms. How many people do we have? Let me check. We have th uh, 12 people, so yeah, groups of three. Here we go. Your turn. Choose the correct form to complete the sentences. Okay, choose the correct form to complete the sentences. So um, I want you to read the sentences and you have to choose. For example, in the first one, you don't have to or you mustn't come to the meeting, but it will help us all if you are there. So you need to choose one form, don't have to or mustn't. I'm going to form the breaker rooms now. We have 12 people exactly, so we have a good number to go with. We're going to form four groups. Let's see, four groups of three people each. Uh, room number one, Francisco Isaac, Olivia Osorio, and Sonia Guadalupe. Room two, Griselda Mendoza, Imelda Sanchez, and Rufino Amilcar. Room three, Luis Enriquez, Natalie Alejandra, Jenny Sanchez. Room four, Gladys Campos, Manuel Aristides and Michelle Escobar. So I'm going to form the breakout rooms now. Everybody, please join your, your group or your room. And uh, I'm going to start visiting you. And I'm going to share this via WhatsApp as usual, okay? So again, choose the correct form to complete the sentences. After that, we're going to do some exercises individually. Después de eso, voy a pedir aquí, um, todos me van a pasar, no pasar, ¿verdad? Porque no estamos en persona, pero si todos van a, a, a participar en unos ejercicios individuales que tengo después. Ok, so right now we're going to be working in groups, then individually. Let's begin. Everybody, please join the breakout rooms.
esposa con vos. Ah, ya. Bueno. De cuatro años. Dale rosa con usted. Iniciemos. Iniciemos. Ah. <ríe> que no nos oiga el tiche. <ríe> Y que no lo puso, no puso estos ejercicios ayer, ¿Really? Se parecen. No, son otras, otras mm, frases. Mm, 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 mm. No, 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 no this one. Oh, sí. No. Mm -hmm. El de ayer no. era distinto. Bueno. Empieza, Francisco. <risa> Primero los caballeros. Sí. <risa> 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 Según logro entender, dice, aquí sería Mosen. Mosen es como prohibición. Pero veamos qué es lo que dice después. Dice, but, pero, it will help us all if you're there. Nos ayudaría si estuvieras. Entonces aquí sería don't have. don't have. You don't have to. Dice, no tienes que llegar a la reunión. O sea, no es obligación. Pero si llegara, sería de mucha ayuda. ¿verdad? Ajá. That's the thing. Ahí está el detalle. Entonces, cuando no es mucha obligación, usamos el don't have to. Ajá. O sea, uh -huh. cuando no hay cuando obligación de hacer algo, bueno. más bien. Cuando es opcional. Si uno quiere, bueno, si no quiere... También, no lo van a obligar. Y, y más tú, eh, más en, es cuando más. sí es obligación. Cuando es una prohibi prohibición. prohibición. Ah, ajá. una prohibición. Es sí, una perdón. prohibición. Cuando uh -huh. es en forma afirmativa, must, ahí sí es una obligación. Uh -huh. O una necesidad y, muy fuerte. Y también cuando es prohibición es, es el can't. También puede ser can't. Uh -huh. Así es, aunque más suena todavía más, más fuerte, más, Mejor, este, más autoritario. Uh -huh. Así es. Ok, let's uh, continue and I will visit another break room now. See you. Sí. Ok. Ok, es un... Ay, acabamos de entrar, piche. <ríe> Ay, no oigo. No tengo audio. Perdón, yo estaba... Ah. Ajá, la voy a asignar entonces ahorita. Sala... Quiero ver. Sala 4. Esto es el mismo tema de ayer al final, ¿va? Yes. Ok. Ok, I'm going to join another breaker room. We chain for the most... Uh, we have a, 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 a little mm -hmm. confused. Es. En mm -hmm. la cuarta dice que este, se va a quedar unas cuantas horas más porque prefiere hacerlo a quedarse más, más horas durante la semana. Mm -hmm. Stay on for a few hours because I prefer to work late today than during the weekend. I can stay. Mm, pues suena más bien a que si no lo hace, entonces le va a tocar quedarse el fin de semana. Tarde. Sería hay más porque es una obligación. No una obligación, pero sí es una necesidad bien fuerte que tiene. Hay uh más. -huh. Porque si no lo hace, entonces ya le tocó quedarse hasta tarde el fin de semana y no quiere. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, All right. Oh. You're welcome. Oh. Okay, I'm oh, going to visit another break of room. Oh, I'm sorry, Emilcar. Uh, 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 I say that <laughs> no, 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 it's, it's not important. Oh, okay, uh, you okay. Can, <laughs> you can leave. <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> Okay, are, are, are we working together? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. 
together but individually. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, we are working in team. Okay, as a team. <laughs> okay, so for cual van ahorita? Number seven. Seven. Number seven. Okay. Seven. Can you read number six for me? Didn't they tell you that you don't have to come into this area? It's restricted to staff only. It's restricted to staff only. Yes. Uh -huh. So for me, it's don't have to. If you say don't have to, yeah. uh -huh. so if you say don't have to, that means that you have an option. But after that, they said it's restricted to staff only. Can't. Entonces sería can't. Sería, didn't they tell you that you can't come into this area? It's restricted to staff only. Esta es eh, solamente para personal autorizado. It's restricted to staff. Okay. okay. So it's a prohibition. You can't come into this area. Hmm? Eh, siempre acordémonos que don't have to or doesn't have to para he, she, it implica que no existe una obligación. En otras palabras, algo es opcional. Si usted lo quiere hacer, bueno, y si no lo quiere hacer, no hay problema tampoco. Pero cuando decimos can't, ahí sí, está prohibido. No hay opción, ¿verdad? Ok, I'm going to visit another breakout room now. See you in a few minutes. Bye. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Okay, ¿cómo vamos? Yeah, it's we finished. You finished? Okay. Yeah. Can you read number eight for me, please? Eight. Number eight, yes. Eight, sorry. Um, one second, please. Okay. Um, sorry, uh, we, we have two. Be three. Be there. Minutes. Hmm? We have to be, be there. Be there. Mm -hmm. Fifteen minutes before the concert starts. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. We have to be there fifteen minutes before the concert starts. Okay. Very good. I'm going to close the breakout rooms now, so I'll see you in one minute. Bye. Okay. Bye. Okay, everybody, I'm going to close the breakout rooms now so we can come back to the main session. See you in one minute. Twenty five seconds. Okay. Let's see, number one, volunteer, please. Who wants to participate? Who wants to try number one? Jenny, please read the sentence. And then Manuel, have... sorry, sorry. You don't have to come to the meeting, but it would help us or if you're there. Correct, thank you, Jenny. You don't have to come to the meeting, that means it's not uh, 
It's not an obligation. It's optional. So you don't have to come to the meeting, but it will help us all if you're there. So, no tienes que venir a la reunión, pero sería de gran ayuda, verdad, para nosotros si estuvieras. So number two, thank you, uh, Jenny. Manuel, number two, please. I can't get a connection on my phone. Can I, can I borrow yours? Can I borrow yours? Can I borrow yours? Okay. Can That's I good. borrow yours? That's right. You're asking for permission to do something. I can't get a connection on my phone. Can I borrow yours? Good. Thank you, Manuel. Very good. Uh, number three, volunteer, please raise your hand. Sonia. Number three, mm -hmm. the rule say that you have to only invite one person to, to the club. Uh, the rule say that you, again, sorry, that you? Have to? Have to invite only, have to invite one person to only the club. Only invite on the person to the club. Hmm, but if you look at this, and there is the word only. There is a restriction. So the rule says that you can that only you can uh -huh, only invite one person to the club. That means okay. you only have permission to invite one person. If you want to invite two, no, sorry, <laughs> okay. only one. Perfect. So yeah. Thank you, Sonia. Very good. Number four. Who wants to try? Please raise your hand, your digital hand, your virtual hand. Press the bottom. Who's next? Olivia and then Francisco. So Olivia, number four, please. I must stay on for a few hours because I prefer to work later today than during the weekend. Mm -hmm. I must stay for a few hours. Sorry, I must stay on for a few hours because I'd prefer to work late today than during the weekend. Okay. Puede que no sea una obligación, pero si es una necesidad fuerte, porque si no lo hace, entonces ya le tocó trabajar hasta tarde el fin de semana. Entonces, yeah. So uh, we'll continue with who, somebody was raising the hand. Griselda wants to participate, but uh, Francisco Isaac was first and then Griselda. So Francisco, you take number five and Griselda, you take number six, please. Francisco, number five. Okay. There's a lot of noise coming from outside. So most I close the window. In this case, uh, could I close the window? Could I close the window? That's right, because you're asking for permission, okay? There's a lot of noise coming from outside. Could I close the window? Thank you, Francisco. Very good. Griselda, number six, please. You have to start, start saving money if you want to retire early. You have to start saving money if you want to retire early. That's right. Very good. Thank you, Griselda. That's the correct answer. What about number seven? Who wants to try number seven? Raise your hand, your virtual hand. Luis Enrique, Enriquez, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the last name. Okay. Didn't tell, didn't they tell you that you can't come into this area? It's restricted to staff only. That's right. Didn't they tell you that you can't come into this area? It's restricted to staff only. So if you are not part of the staff, you can't be here. It's prohibited. Very good. Thank you, Luis. And the last one, number eight, who wants to try? Number eight. Come on, don't be shy. Number eight. 
Let's participate. Okay, Michelle, number eight, please. We have to be there 15 minutes before the concert starts. We have to be there 15 minutes before the concert starts. Okay, we have to be there. If we are not there 15 minutes before, well, uh, we may get in late. So thank you, Michelle. That is good. That is correct. Very good. Well, let's continue. Your turn. ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá? Voy a poner una oración o una pequeña conversación y pues voy a necesitar ahí voluntarios o oh, voy a ir preguntando uno por uno también porque eso nos puede resultar. Entonces es que hay gente que casi nunca me participa. Entonces voy a preguntar uno por uno, uno por uno. En caso que usted tenga la respuesta incorrecta, pues bueno, no se preocupe, no es el fin del mundo. De las equivocaciones también aprendemos, ¿verdad? Y siempre que nos equivocamos hay una explicación. Por lo tanto, de ahí nos enriquecemos nosotros y también todos los demás que estamos escuchando. Así que vamos a ir one by one. Son varias, así que va a participar más de una vez. Let's do this. Voy a hacer en el orden que me aparecen aquí. Your turn. Ahora aquí va combinado, va todo. Todo lo que hemos visto sobre models. Complete the sentences with the phrases from the box. Let's see. Luis Enriquez, the first one is yours. It goes, the family can't decide where to go on vacation. They, blah, 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 they go to Los Angeles or they, blah, 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 go to Hawaii. So your options are may or are able to, could or couldn't, might or may. They could go to the Angeles or they could go to Hawaii. But we don't have those. We have could and couldn't. Ya están las parejas de oración de, de respuestas acá, ¿verdad? Yes. Oh. Ajá. Quizás no he entendido. <laughs> bueno, habría que completarlo acá con las opciones que están en los cuadros azules. Entonces, por yes. ejemplo, aquí podrías, they, ajá. They, they may go to the Angeles. To Los Angeles. To Los Angeles. To the Angeles. Or they may go to Hawaii. So the third one. This one? Might. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Yeah. They might go to Los Angeles or they may go to Hawaii. Okay. Thank you, Luis. That's right. So uh, the next one is for Griselda. Hey, Griselda, are you ready? Teacher. Okay, let's do it. Complete the sentences, okay, with the phrases from the box. Lo mismo acá, hay dos, así que cada una tiene un par de posibles respuestas. The little girl asked, mommy, blah, 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 I have a cookie. And she said, the mother said, yes, you, blah, blah, blah. ¿Cuál okay. será? The little girl asked, Mommy, can I have a cookie? The mother said, yes, yes, you can. So the first one. Yeah. That is correct. Okay, thank you, Griselda. Correct answer, very good. We continue. Check. Wait, wait, wait a second. Okay. Uh, Olivia. You're next. I'm going to bring an umbrella today because it might rain, it is able to rain, or it can rain. It, it can rain. It can rain. I guess it's possible, but there is one that is better. Hay una que queda mejor. Yeah. Might. It might rain. Okay, that's right. I'm going to bring an umbrella today because it might rain. Que podría llover. No? Okay, thank you very much. The next one is Francisco Isaac. Francisco, next is yours. 
Are you there, Francisco? Francisco? Creo que no está. Michelle, then. Michelle. Can you hear me, Michelle? Yes, teacher. Okay. So uh, we have this one. George is absent from class today. He, blah, 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 be sick. Um, could? He could be sick. The third one. Yes. That is right. Okay. He could be sick. Very good. Francisco. Okay. <laughs> Francisco was away for a second. All right. Um, can you read this one and complete it with the right word or words, please, Francisco? Your microphone, Francisco. We can't hear you. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, may I borrow your dictionary? Number three. Uh, might, might. might. Number two, might I borrow your dictionary? Let's see. No, okay. sorry. Oh, uh, um, may. Great. May I borrow your dictionary? That is correct. Okay, because you're asking for permission. Okay, good. Thank you, Francisco. Who's next? Let me see. Natalie. Ah, Natalie, you're very quiet today, Natalie. Okay, time to participate. Please, can you read the sentence? Um, you. You might leave if you have finished the exam. Might, the second might. option. Yes. Let's see. Not really. Mm -hmm. Might is only for possibility. This one is a bit different. Second um, chance. You may. You may. You may leave if you have finished the exam. This one is correct because may is for permission. That means if you finish the exam, you have permission to go to your house. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you, Natalie. Let's continue. Next, Let's see. Okay, we have, uh, it's pretty much the same idea, but this time no pictures. Let's continue. Let's see. Okay, Sonia. Yep. <laughs> There's a conversation. Look, Simon's giving me a present. Mm -hmm. But do you think it? It, it is. It is. It's a conversation, right? Look, Simon's given me a present. What do you think it is? ¿Qué crees que sea? And the other person said? Pen. Pen. I'm sorry? Pen. It can be perfume, I suppose. Well, but oh. look at this. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> Um, can. It can be perfume, I suppose. It's about the right size. But look, he said, I suppose. Is he sure about it? Cool. Good. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> it could be perfume, I suppose. Okay. It's about the right size. Okay. Thank you, Sonia. Okay. So what about the next one? This is for Gladys. Gladys Campos. Can you sí, read it? Sí. Can you read it, Gladys, please? Um, look at, uh, up, at them. We over there. Look at he's, that guy over there. Guy over there. He's, he's only got uh this year on and it's five degrees mm -hmm. look at that guy over there he only has sorry he only has a t-shirt on 
and it's five degrees. Mm -hmm. Cinco grados centígrados. So he, he may be freezing. He may be freezing. He may be freezing. Are you sure? But take a look. Look at that guy over there. He only has a t-shirt on. Solo tiene puesto una camiseta, right? And it's five degrees. Está a cinco grados. Está heladísimo. So he, blah, 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 be freezing. What is that? He, he's my. He might be freezing. Might be freezing. Okay. Well, uh, no, sorry, that's not the right answer, but you have a second opportunity. ¿Cuál será? Most? He must be freezing. Let's he check. Must be freezing. He must be freezing. Correct. Okay. It's about deduction. Again, look at that guy over there. He's only, sorry. Aquí cambié porque decía, he's only got, pero eso es muy británico. Lo vamos a poner, he only has. Lo siento ahí que se me fue mal. He only has a t-shirt on and it's five degrees. He must be freezing. Debe estarse congelando el hombre. So, yeah, must. What about the next one? Thank you, Gladys. Amilcar. Hi. Uy, me fue ahí. I'm sorry. <laughs> ya le enseñé. No, okay. No, no, Who's, whose bag is this? It must uh -huh. be Mike's. It's on his desk. I'm sorry. Se tardó ahí en pasar y le di más clic de lo necesario. Bueno, la Fue siguiente. Fue flachazo. Fue flachazo nada más. Okay, so next one. Please, Amilcar. Mm -hmm. where, where is Kim? Mm -hmm. I don't sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Try her, try her office. She, 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 she might, she might be in, in there. Correct. She might be in there. Okay, mm -hmm. the conversation goes, where is Kim? And the other person says, I'm not sure. Try her office. She might be in there. So she might be in there. Correct. Thank you, Amilcar. Good. The next one is Jenny Sanchez. Jenny Sanchez, this one, please. Uh, the microphone, Jenny. That man must be Tim's father. He looks less, just like him. That's right. Very good. That man must be Tim's father. He looks just like him. Okay. Thank you, Jenny. The next one is Manuel Aristides. Okay, Manuel. Okay, a ver. What that light in the sky? Um, it is not a star. It's moving. It's moving. It's moving. And the other it, person said? Can no, um, it have it have to be a plane. Be what else could it be? Okay, a plane. What else could it be? So uh, your choice is the second one. Yep. But hay un problemita con esa opción. Oh, uh, has has to. Correct, because the subject is it. The subject yeah, yeah. is it, it's, 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 he, she, so it. It. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. it has to so be a plane. Yeah, <laughs> okay, thank yeah. you, Manuel. Look, what's that light in the sky? It's not a star, it's moving. And the other person says, it has to be a plane, silly. What else could it be? Right, tiene que ser un avión. Dundito le dice, <laughs> le está insultando cuando le dice eso. ¿Qué otra cosa podría hacer? Le dice, what else could it be? 
Está fregado con esos amigos que le insultan a uno. Bueno, so yeah, it has to be a plane, silly. What else could it be? Good, thank you very much, Manuel. The next one is, let's see, Imelda. Okay, Imelda, your turn. You can't be hungry again. You had lunch 10 minutes ago. You can't be hungry again. That's right. You had lunch 10 minutes ago, so it's impossible. Very good. Thank you, Imelda. The next one is for Alejandra Magaña. Okay, Alejandra. I haven't seen Jeff today. If he off sick, he mm, he can't. He can't be. He can be. He's mm -hmm. in the car park. Correct. Okay. Thank you, Alejandra. I haven't seen Jeff today. Is he off sick? And the other person said, he can't be. I saw his car in the car park. Si vi el carro de él en el parqueo. Aquí tiene que andar. No puede estar enfermo. So he can't be. All right. Very good. Thank you, Alejandra. The next one is for Mr. Jose Vega. Okay, Jose. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. And you can be hungry. You haven't eaten since the morning. Since. Since, since the morning. So what is it? Can. You can't be hungry. You haven't eaten since this morning. Oh my God, but this person hasn't eaten mm -hmm. since the morning. And Sería cool. Uh, you could be hungry. You haven't eaten since this morning. No has comido desde la mañana. This morning, yeah. Ah, okay. You must be hungry. You haven't eaten this morning. You must be hungry. Yes. You haven't eaten since this morning. Okay. Very strong possibility. You are sure okay. about this. You must be hungry at this. Yeah, de tener hambre, le dice. No has comido yeah. desde la mañana. <laughs> no, no, I haven't eaten much. <laughs> okay, no problem. Don't no, worry. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for participating. The next one is Paola Maria. Okay, Paola. Is that Susie's jacket? No, it's... Um, it can be it's too big it can't be it's too big that's right no puede ser, es demasiado grande. right it can't be it's too big that's right thank you paola very good the next one is morena are you there morena Pareció ahí que había puesto que tenía algunos problemas para entrar. No, ahí está, ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. Ok, Morena. Ok. Esta es casi que la, creo que es la última, quiero ver. No, falta. No, faltan, faltan varias, de hecho. Ok. Hay que pase otra. Ah, come on. Ok. Ok, Morena. It may. Be, he may be young. Mm -hmm. He who's he who's for he, ju he just he just oh. called. Acaba de llamar, right? He just called. Ah, he uh -huh, he called call. He just no, just. no it's host, just. You know, just. Uh -huh. He just, just called. Just called to say to was coming. To say he was coming. Okay. He was called. It may be John. He just called to say he was coming. Okay, that is correct. Very good. Creo que ya pasaron todos, 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 la todos. Era la, última. era la última que aparecía ahí en, en, en lista. Okay, very good. Now, yes. there are more, but this time I want participants. I want somebody to, you know, uh, I want volunteers. That's the thing. 
What about this one? I'm worried about grandma. I tried to call her, but she's not answering her phone. The other person said she must be out. She can be out or she may be out or she might be asleep. She sometimes has a nap in the afternoon. Who wants to try? Raise your hand, please. Your virtual hand. Jenny. May? She, she may be may out. Be That's right. She may be out or she might be asleep. Okay. We're talking about possibilities here. Thank you, Jenny. That's correct. Very good. Next. I'm starving. Me muero de hambre. What's for dinner, mom? Fish. I hate fish. I'm not going to eat it. You couldn't be very hungry then. You mustn't be very hungry then, or you can't be very hungry then. Se dice en la mamá en El Salvador también. Tal cosa hay. No, no quiero. Ah, pues no tener hambre. Okay. So, what is the correct form? I need a volunteer. Okay, that's better. Mm -hmm. Who wants to try? You could have. Okay, Imelda says you couldn't be very hungry then. Are you sure? Yes. Um, not exactly. You mustn't? you mustn't. Not really. No debe. Ah, no. No puede. Ah, pues. Can mm -hmm. Can you? Okay, you can't be very hungry okay. then. That's a no, no puedes, no puedes tener hambre, Liz. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. sí, you can't be very, very hungry, hungry then. Okay, thanks for your participation. Uh, Imelda and Morena. The next one. Have you seen... Have you seen Clara? She's gone for lunch. She must be in the cafeteria. She can't be in the cafeteria or she might not be in the cafeteria. What do you think? Raise your hand, please. Your virtual hand. Your yellow virtual hand. Francisco. Yes, uh, have you seen Clara? She's gone for lunch. She's gone for lunch. Mm -hmm. She must be in the cafeteria. She must be in the cafeteria. Si fue almorzar, lo más seguro que esté. Yeah, that's right. She must be in the cafeteria. Thank you, Francisco. Good. So, yeah, this is the last one. So, what kind of bird is that? And the other person says, I'm not sure. It must be an eagle. It might be an eagle. Or it can't be an eagle. But I can see it very well. What's the correct form? Raise your hand, please. One more participant. Amilcar, please. I'm not sure it might be an eagle, but I can't see it very well. That's right. Very good. It might be an eagle, but I can't see it very well. So I don't know. I'm not sure. Thank you, Amilcar. That is very good. Okay, we have about, say, 10 minutes. So we're going to do something here. We need... Uh, we're going to have a review of the models, okay? Because we're finishing the unit or the section, which is section four in the platform. By the way, speaking of the platform, where is that? I want everybody to complete all the exercises in the platform up to 4.10. Tendríamos que ir ya para finalizar esta clase hasta el 4.10, que es un listening exercise, okay? Hasta ahí para no atrasarnos. Hasta ahí tenemos que haber completado. So, um, let's take a look. Permission. We often use can to ask for and give permission. Here are the examples. Can I sit here? When you say, hey, can I sit here? Okay, you're asking for permission. Okay. The second one. 
you can use my car if you like. Puedo ocupar mi carro si quieres. So you can use my car if you like. So this person is giving you permission. The last one. Can I make a suggestion? Okay, you are asking for permission to make a suggestion. All right. What about the model could? We also use could to ask for permission, but not to give it. Vaya, mucho cuidado con esto. Podemos ocupar could para pedir permiso, pero no para dar permiso. Okay. Si usted quiere dar permiso, ocupe can. Can se puede ocupar para pedir y para dar permiso. Pero could solamente es para pedir permiso. Pero no es para darlo. So, could is more formal and polite than can. Es más formal y se considera más amable, más educado que utilizar can. For example, could I ask you something? Podría preguntarte algo. Could I ask you something? Could I interrupt? Could I borrow your pen for a moment, please? So remember, you use could to ask for permission, but not to give permission. Okay, if you want to give permission, use can or use my, may. May is the most formal way to ask for and give permission. A diferencia de could, con may usted puede pedir permiso y también dar permiso, autorizar algo. So may is the most formal way to ask for and give permission. Examples, may I see your passport, please? ¿Qué le van a decir en el aeropuerto usted? May I see your passport, please? Parece que lo están pidiendo muy amablemente, pero en realidad es, no tiene opción, ¿verdad? So may I see your passport? Customers may request a refund within a period of 30 days. Okay, that means that you have the permission or authorization to ask for a refund if, uh, if you bought something within the last 30 days. And the last one, these pages may be photocopied for classroom use. Estas páginas pueden ser fotocopiadas para utilizarlas en clase. Ok, está dando el permiso. Hay libros que dicen, no, usted no puede fotocopiar este libro porque caería en piratería. Pero hay otros libros que dicen, abajo aparece nuevamente, eh, expresan que sí hay permiso. Si usted lo quiere ocupar, no hay ningún problema. So, these pages may be photocopied for classroom, classroom use, I'm sorry. They're giving you permission. Este es un repaso, ¿verdad? De lo que vimos durante toda la semana. That's permission with can, could, and may. Prohibition. Can't. We use can't to talk about something that is against the rules, particularly when we didn't make the rules. Example, what does this sign say? Oh, we can't park here. Eso es lo que dice, que no nos podemos parquear. We can't park here. It's like when you have a garage in your house, only you can park in front of your house. If another person parks his or her car in front of your house, well, that's not permitted. They can't. So they can't park there. Next, you can take photos in the museum. They are really strict about it. That's a rule. You can't. It's prohibited. And the last one. Sorry, we can't sell knives to under 18s. No le podemos vender cuchillos a los menores de 18 años. It's the rule, it's prohibited. Si lo vendemos, nos metemos en problemas, okay? Nos despiden y hasta nos pueden demandar y de todo. Así que, sorry, we can't sell knives to the under 18s, to under 18s. Now, mustn't. We use mustn't particularly when the prohibition comes from the speaker. When the speaker creates the rule or creates the restriction or the prohibition, then you use mustn't, okay? Examples, a parent to a child, un padre o una madre hacia su hijo o hija. Aquí podemos ver esto, 
Por cierto, muy interesante, la palabra parent se puede referir a, tanto al padre como a la madre. Y child se puede referir tanto a un hijo como a una hija. Es una palabra que se puede utilizar. Cuando decimos child, así nada más no podemos saber si es niño o niña. Habría que ser específico, decir son o daughter. Lo mismo cuando decimos parent, no, no, sabemos, no podemos saber en ese momento si es el padre o la madre. Habría que ser más específico. Así que se le puede preguntar a alguien, por ejemplo, let's see, Amilcar, are you a parent? The microphone. Okay. Are you a parent, Amilcar? Yes, I am parent. Okay. You say, yes, I am a parent. Okay. It quiere decir que es padre de familia. If I ask, let's see, Natalie, are you a parent? Yes, I am a parent. I am a parent. Okay, good. Let's see. Vamos a preguntar a alguien más. Quiero ver por acá. Alejandra, are you a parent? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alejandra says, no, I am not a parent. That means she doesn't have children. Okay. Okay. Very good. So a parent to a child, you mustn't say things like that to your sister. Eh, no tenés que decirle cosas así a tu hermanita. O sea, se lo está prohibiendo, pero la prohibición viene directamente del hablante. El hablante es el que está poniendo la restricción. Ok, por eso se ocupa mustn't. Another example. Teacher to student. You mustn't be late to class. Ok. And the last one. I mustn't let that happen again. La prohibición viene de uno mismo. No debo permitir que eso vuelva a suceder. Ok, uno mismo lo está prohibiendo. Next, deduction. Must. We use must when we are certain or when we are sure or convinced about something. Examples. Roxanne has worked in this company for 25 years. She must know most people here. Claro, ha trabajado 25 años, tiene que conocer a la mayoría, ¿no? Ronald studies all the time. He must get good grades. And he has two private jets. He must be rich. Okay. What about Kent? Kent is the opposite. We use Kent when we are sure that something is not true. We use Kent when we are sure or we are convinced that something is impossible. Examples, they moved into this neighborhood last week. Se mudaron a este vecindario o a esta colonia la semana pasada. Así que, they can't know many people. Uh, no es posible que conozcan a mucha gente. A lo mejor unos poquitos, pero no mucha gente. Next one, where is Allison? I need to talk to her. She left a minute ago. Only one minute ago, so she can't be far away. No puede andar muy lejos. And the last one, you just had dinner. You can't be hungry. The last one, last slide today. Obligation and no obligation. Take a look. Have to. Have to expresses obligation. Examples. We have to wear a uniform at school. We have to, it's an obligation. Now the student to the teacher is asking a question. When do we have to hand in our homework? Cuando tenemos que entregar la tarea? Okay, he is asking about an obligation. When do we have to hand in our homework? And the last one, Mike has to work tomorrow so he can't come and tiene que trabajar. No tiene opción, tiene que. So he has to work tomorrow, so he can't come. He can't come to the party, for example, or to the trip. Or to come on the trip, I'm sorry. Must. Must expresses a strong obligation or necessity. It often shows us that the obligation comes from the speaker. Example, I must phone my dad. I must call my dad. 
It's his birthday today. A teacher to a student. You must hand in your homework on Tuesday. Tienes que entregar la tarea o tienen que entregar la tarea el martes. Assign on a place. Se un rotulo en un avión, ¿no? Seat belts must be worn by all passengers. Ahí está el passive voice, además, ¿verdad? Seat belts must be worn by all passengers. No es que si quiere o no quiere. Tiene que ocupar el cinturón. Okay, so seat belts must be worn by all passengers. Finally, we have don't have to. Don't have to or the variation for he, she, it doesn't have to shows that there is no obligation about something. It's optional. You don't have to go to the bank to do a transfer. You can do it online, ¿verdad? Hace años había que ir al banco o ir a un cajero de esos cajeros totales para hacer una transferencia. Hoy no, usted saca su teléfono, ya está. Cuestión de un minuto ya le pasó el dinero a alguien más. O alguien más se lo pasa a usted. Así que, you don't have to go to the bank to do a transfer. You can do it online. Pero, si a usted no le gusta hacerlo en línea, entonces va al banco. Y no hay ningún problema. Es opción suya. Por eso dice, you don't have to. O sea, si quiere ir, bien. Pero si no quiere ir, pues saque el teléfono, baje la aplicación y hágalo ahí. So, you don't have to go to the bank to do a transfer. You can do it online. And that's it. Okay. Ahí se acaba el repaso. Um, everybody, again, as I said just a moment ago, I want you to complete all the sections or all the say, uh, yeah, the sections in the, let's say unit four in the platform up to 4.10, okay? Next week, we're going to see uh, section five or unit five, and there is the final exam, okay? So if you don't have any questions, do you have any questions? Nothing. No questions, Nothing. okay. Okay then, so if that's the case, I'll see you Monday. Remember, no class mm -hmm. tomorrow. Eh, mañana no hay clase, pero la otra semana mm -hmm. sí. El 4 de noviembre, que cae viernes, habrá clase en reposición el del, al 2 de noviembre, que es día de los, de los difuntos, ¿verdad? Así que, see you Monday. Take good care. See you good Monday. Night. Good night. See you Monday.